You, the U.S. currently involved in two wars and spending billions of dollars on them. Do you feel the country is safer now? The first answer to that question from Mr. Smith. Uh, I do not believe we are safer. I believe that our interventionist foreign policy has actually perpetrated the terrorist attacks upon our nation. It's made these people angry at us. Um, I, um, I propose that we withdraw our troops from abroad and bring them home here to defend our country. And I think we, uh, we, we can no longer afford to police the world right now. The wars and their effect on the U.S., Mr. Goyle. We, have, we are safer now, but we must never stop and never tire to make sure that we are safer every, each and every day to improve our borders and to make sure that we are secure from attack. As a member of Congress, I will always vote to make sure our truth, troops are fully funded and that we bring them home safely and as swiftly as possible. And our military commanders and, uh, and the president must have the resources they need to execute the mission that they've given our troops. Again, the question is, are we in the U.S. safer now because of our involvement in two wars overseas? The next answer from Mrs. Ducey. Well, I do believe that we're safer now because we've shown that we have strength. But as far as being a police state for other people, we have to decide that, yes, we have interests in many places around the world, but we don't have security risks everywhere around the world. And so we need to stop being the nation's policemen and come out and, and take care of ourselves. And as far as the war goes, I'm glad that we're now out of Iraq and that we can be able to bring the rest of the troops home that are there. And now the same question goes to Mr. Pompeo. We are, we're most certainly safer, uh, but as a veteran, I can tell you uh, that when you go to fight a war, you need to go and accomplish the mission and do everything it takes to win. We have a president that increased the number of troops in Afghanistan, um, but told our enemy the day we would begin our withdrawal. I think that's wrong. Uh, and he put our soldiers and our sailors and our airmen under rules of engagement that make and put their lives at risk needlessly. When you go to war to fight a war, you go to war to win a war.